Hello there, I am John Doe. I am in Tokyo, Japan. And we're going to do another edition of the da -da -da Ghost Letters Report. Now, something very interesting has been said here in Japan by a person who's pretty prominent and has a lot of influence in bourgeois society. Ayako Sono. She's a prominent author and was at one time named by Abe, or appointed by Abe, to a education reform panel. Now get this. She's come out and said that while we need more immigrant workers to come to Japan because we have an aging population and a labor shortage, which is true, they say we need people from other countries to come here and work. But we should also have a system of forced, forced segregation. Is that the best thing to do? She says she came to this conclusion after learning about the um, experience that South Africa's had. Yeah, apartheid has convinced her that's just best if all the different races uh, live separately. Now she said, now, wow, it's fine that, you know, people work together, research together, socialize together. We shouldn't live together. That's bad. We must segregate ourselves where we live. Especially, she wants to have forced um, living zones for immigrant workers. This is just insane. It gets, it gets worse, it gets worse. She says what she learned about apartheid was she has an unspec unspecified whites-only apartment complex she was supposedly reading about. And now after apartheid ended, black families moved in. And she says, well, well that was a big problem because basically blacks have a philosophy of having large families. They bring all their cousins and brothers and sisters live together. She says, you know, basically implying oh, Japanese people don't live that way. And it'll be, it will be troublesome. They have these different races, especially those blacks, living with us in the same zone, in the same areas. Just be problems. So just best, you know, if whites, Asian, blacks, I would just live separately, own little zones, within a city or a community, and everything would be fine. We can all still work together and socialize together. Just don't want you living in my neighborhood. Some racist, crazy shit, to say the least. But what she doesn't realize is that when you have forced segregation, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way at all. It's not like we all have our own little zones where we live in, but we still work together and socialize. And no, you create a social construct by having forced segregation, where people feel they are better than each other. And these zones, you're going to have businesses in these zones where people live. All these zones are going to be controlled racially. So whoever, whichever race, <laughs> the word race just boggles my mind, but we're speaking in the context she's talking all these different races, well, one or two, or at least one, is going to become the dominant one. That's how capitalism works. You know, whatever group has uh, control of a lot of capital, they're going to use any means possible to maintain control of that capital. So let's say here in Japan, we go for forced um, segregation of migrant workers, immigrant workers, right? Well, what's going to happen? These people are going to come here with no connection in Japan. They're going to need to work. Or if you have these zones where they can never really get foot into Japan, Japanese society, they're always going to be on the outside. They have no opportunity to have any control over capital. You're going to lead to a very brutal situation. Of course, the dominant race in this case would be the Japanese. They're going to take advantage of this and exploit the living fuck out of it, the Japanese capitalist. They're going to use it to have all these immigrant workers coming over have them in a basically a grotto and exploit the fuck out of them. That's what's going to happen. And that's the shit that went down in South Africa. A very similar situation. You had all the, the blacks, the natives, the people who actually have a claim to that area, blocked off in zones and separated from the white capitalist controlling whites. You know? And it was brutal. You know, you'd be stopped, you know, arrested for being white, for being black beaten for being black, put on trial and thrown in jail for being black, 
murdered for being black, exploited for being black. She doesn't understand. Or maybe she does understand, but she's just trying to word it in a way, like the reason she's given, to make it sound like, oh, this is logical and good. It's fucking not. In fact, if she wants to know what apartheid and forced segregation is really like, ask South Africa. In fact, South Africa didn't wait for her to ask. They responded. The South African embassy in Japan I believe that was the embassy that responded by saying, you know, I, I really hope, we really hope, basically they said, we really hope that this doesn't be adopted in Japan. Because our experience with it was not very well. I swear to God, it's racist shit. It's really uh, ridiculous. And it's becoming more and more stronger. And the voices are becoming louder. The longer and longer we have this fascist leader in Japan, Abe, far right-wing shit going on in this country. So I thought I'd just, you know, enlighten you on this and bring this to your attention. Enjoy this video. Hey, tell me what you think in the comment section below. I'd really like to hear. If it's the first time you see me, ah, come on, subscribe. Not that hard. So until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.